Yo, welcome Diablo 4 enthusiast. We are finally being awarded with new information about the endgame, covering the Paragon board, PvP, potential leaderboards and the Tree of Whisper. But let's start with the Paragon board, because I think that's what everyone is the most interested in and here are some, where are some crucial information is missing to probably start the theory crafting process. So far, we didn't know yet if the board is only selectable with a left and right pathing or if di diagonal paths are also allowed. And here in this clip from the interview, we can clearly see that only left and right movements are allowed. This will limit the progress we can make on the board massively and will result in every decision mattering a lot more. And based on the respect costs we are seeing displayed over here at 53k a piece, you better make your decisions right on the first time. To stay up to date on the best guides, I highly recommend subscribing to my channel and preventing expensive mistakes. In total, you are able to gain 220 Paragon points, 200 from just leveling and another 20 from the Renown system, which means the total average respect cost is 11.6 million gold. Quite expensive, if you ask me, and doesn't leave a whole lot of space for errors. So next up, I want to talk about the PvP system, which will be played on the Field of Hatred. And so far, we were told that the rewards here are going to be purely cosmetic. But listen to this a place for people who really love pvp and want to still get loot and still increase their character's power if that's the way they want to play they can the way i understand this you are able to actually progress your character by playing pvp only so i hope they are aware that this system sounds really easy to be abused if you just go and with like 11 of other clan members you meet up in discord you fill a whole instance so no one can join else can join and you just farm each other for the shards there's no risk or effort at all so i really hope they're taking this into consideration and find a solution or remove um, general gear progress with pvp now let's go to a more positive topic. It was revealed that you don't just unlock a new world here by default, you actually have to clear a dungeon to do so. And these are called capstone dungeons and are a tough challenge to check if you're even worthy to complete to a higher tier. And this brings up the currently missing information about leaderboards, as they don't want to repeat the power quoting leaderboard like the rifts of Diablo 3. They are looking for unique ways to measure player success without showcasing their strategy to allow for a wider meta to form and capstone dungeons could be an option for time-based skill measurement right here, especially if the seasons are not released by default yet. Yeah, what do you guys think? What kind of leaderboards would you like to have? Type it in the comments down below and I will review your ideas in an upcoming video. And lastly, we got a brief peek at the Tree of Whispers, which will allow us to target farm items in the endgame. Let me be more specific. Instead of running around in the endgame, killing mobs and having useless loot all the time and waiting for this one piece out of 100,000, we now have the option to take on quests. Given by the Tree of Whisper, and upon completion, we are able to select exactly which item slot we want to be rewarded with. If you're interested in more information about Diablo 4, there is an official live stream announced for the 20th of April. I will keep you updated on this topic, especially with the time. And meanwhile, feel free to watch my new guide about legendary item crafting so you don't waste your precious gold on a release by doing mistakes that you could simply avoid by watching one short video.